Hey guys, what's up? Is that out? And today, uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial on, uh, cow might. Alright, we're going to be doing a tutorial on photoshopping a name on a piece of paper, on skin, etc. And I got this as an example. I just got this off the, uh, the Facebooks. And, uh, yeah, so. Ah, my computer's so slow right now, because, like, my computer only has one gigabyte of RAM, so that's, you know, that's always good. Uh, so let's zoom in here. Alright, so this is just an example. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this or not, but... Alright. So, I, I did a tutorial on this back in the day, but uh, it wasn't so good, and I sound like a complete little squeaky faggot. So, <clears throat> I probably still do, to be honest. Uh, so first off, what you want to do is highlight the background, double click it, and hit OK. That's going to unlock it, and now you can freely edit it. If I can fucking select it. Oh, there we go. Alright, and then you want to head over to the sidebar here. Uh, make sure you have it open. View, and then it should be somewhere like show, or... I don't know. It should be here. It's tools, I think. Uh, yeah, have that selected. Make sure you have this selected at all times. And then you're going to want to go over here and select the spot healing brush tool. It kind of looks like a band-aid with a circle. That's what you want. It's right below the eyedropper and above the paintbrush. So next, we're going to zoom in here onto the name. And what we're going to do is select the appropriate brush size for our spot healing tool and we just kinda wanna go over the letters like this it doesn't have to be perfect um, but just just enough so it gets almost all of it out see how, see how it clears up you kinda wanna avoid lined paper too cause you'll have to fix that up like, like I'm doing right now and it's kinda a bitch so Yep, just cleaning this up. You want to go over it nice and... Oh, I messed that up a bit. Nice and easy now. And I'm going to keep this line under it, because that just gives it a more realistic effect. And uh, that's what we want. We want this thing to look legit. So. Uh, let's go over it just a bit more. Right. And, uh, hold on, let's see if we can speed this up by just doing this. Sometimes this will work, it's just recommended to do it one by one, because it's just neater that way. And it just gets really sloppy if you do it like this. But it won't move for me this time. Alright, make sure you get the lines in. Just really avoid that line paper, is all I'm telling you right now. Because it gets to be a bitch. Uh, yeah, alright, whatever. That'll be fine. Our text will be covering it, so. Alright, after you've done that, zoom out a bit. And just fix up any little spots that you may have missed. Um, let's clean that up a little bit, I guess. Alright, select your text tool. It is below the uh, pen tool and above the path selection tool. Now, uh, just click somewhere, wherever you want. Type in your name. Uh, and yeah. Uh, by the way, you might want to get a girly or handwritten text from dafont.com. Just go to handwritten and find one you like. Uh, something not too complex and it should be good. Now, size it to the appropriate amount. Um, you know, hit control to angle it however you want. Okay, maybe size that up a bit. Uh, that should be good. I'm going to put a space between the eye and the bounce just because it looks more like that, like that would happen. Um, Alright, so that should actually be good. Um, 
I'm just going to line this down a bit. Oh, no, not what I wanted. Line that like that. Okay. We'll be fixing this up again anyway, so you want to move it up a bit. <coughs> um, make sure you have your text selected. Go over here where it says normal. You want to put that to linear burn. And put the opacity down a bit. We can adjust this later. All right. Next, now we got our text here. This is how it looks like. It doesn't look realistic. Let's be honest. Oh, I forgot one thing. Get the eyedropper tool. Uh, select a shade of whatever color if you're doing what I'm doing. Go back to your text tool. Highlight it all. And go here and then just click OK. And boom. Maybe even make it a bit darker. Like right there should be good. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. Oof, good. Double click your text layer. Nope, not double click it, right click it. Go to rasterize type. And now you will not be able to edit the text. So make sure you got it exactly how you want it. Alright, go to Edit, Transform, and you want to go to Warp. Make sure you have your text layer selected. Alright, let's zoom in a bit here. And we're just going to angle this down a bit, just like so. Um, kind of like, make it like so it kind of wraps around the paper. This is really what you're aiming to do here. So kind of just, you know, mess around with it, have fun with it. And you should get it to how you want it eventually. I'm just going to stretch this more. And I'm going to angle that down a bit. Maybe go up. Angle down. Uh, that should be good. Maybe like that. This may take a couple tries to get it, you know, how you how you want it, but it's all worth it, to be honest. Go like that. Yeah, that, that should be good. It's kind of a moderately flat paper, so you kind of want to make it make it look to the way it's shaping, pretty much. All right, hit the check mark up here. Let's go back to 100 view, and I mean it looks it looks okay right now. But let's go back to image or edit, transform, warp, and just warp it from this angle because we don't want it to look too edited. So kind of make every letter like a little bit of different size maybe. Just like that. And yeah, yeah, I like that. Maybe squish it down go that way a bit. Uh, yeah, right there should be good. Raise it up a bit. Okay, check mark it. There we go. So, oh, wait, okay, I spotted one problem. This should be the last edit. Uh, angle that a bit there, because otherwise that's going to look gay. Sorry if you're offended by that, but just, uh, you know, using metaphorical terms. I know that's not right, but I do it anyway. Alright, so once you have it how you want it, right? You go to your opacity, go to 100 view, and just tone it down maybe just a bit. I usually put mine around 70, 65. For this, I'm going to put it at 66, and I'm going to leave it at that, because that just looks, that looks good right there. Um, maybe move it over a bit like that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. 
and here's a little trick you can do actually you can go to vibrance and you can adjust how pale you want the picture how saturated and you know this usually just helps with making it look better I do it just cuz you know I have the option to uh, hue and saturation nope that's not what I wanted Hold on. go to do, 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 brightness contrast uh, that's what I wanted I'm gonna raise up the brightness maybe nope okay I'm gonna lower it and the contrast we will put upwards just a bit and there we go so if we zoom out a bit so we can see the whole picture that looks uh, looks all right um boom, 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 boom. i don't know what i did to make it to make the text look all scratchy but eh. it's it should be fine so, what you want to do is go to file save for web make sure everything you want is done save for web png 24 check transparency uh, I know they should be unchecked blah 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 uh, monitor color copyright and contact info image size whatever you want it quality by cubic you can lo higher that lower it whatever save save it to wherever you want this is just what I was doing earlier, but we'll save it right here. Ignore the file names. I'm working on something in the hack forms. Uh, let's just name it Sign for now. Save it. Wait for it to go. Alright. Let's minimize that. Go here. Oh, hold on. It's being bullocks right now. Alright, whatever. We'll just, um. Alright, open with Windows Picture and Facts Viewer. And there you go. There's your final product. Uh, as you can see, when you zoom in, it's gonna look fake, obviously. Uh, there's ways you can get around that, but that's a little in-depth. I didn't really want to get into that. But that's your basic fan sign. Uh, that's how you Photoshop one. And, yeah. Thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, well, not I guess. I mean, thank you for watching. And if you like this video and it helped you, please subscribe, like the video. Maybe, maybe a favorite. Uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Tumblr. Uh, you know, other social sites, maybe Reddit. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. See ya. One other thing I want to add is that you can actually pick the blur tool if you're more advanced in Photoshop. Pick the blur tool, put the hardness down a bit. Um, maybe no hardness at all, that'd be great. And just pick a big brush, go over the text once or twice before you rasterize it. Or no, you need to rasterize it. I don't know. But go over it once or twice with the blur tool. It gives it, if it's a low quality picture, it gives it that extra low quality effect. Alright, yep. Please uh subscribe if you haven't, and uh see you in later videos. I got them all wet, shaking with they mama gave.